Good morning everyone. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick unboxing of my GoPro Hero 8. Also, I will be showing you my Motovlog setup and the settings that I use on my GoPro Hero 8 for Motovlogging. So stay tuned and let's get started. That was quick. Now that we are done with the unboxing, I'll turn on the GoPro Hero 8 and show you the setup as well as the settings that I use for my moto vlogging. Before we continue on to that, I would like to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss on any upcoming videos. Also, feel free to leave your comments below, letting me know what you think about this video or if you need to know any tips regarding the setup of GoPro Hero 8. So you turn on your GoPro Hero 8 and then you get to the starting menu. It says you select the language, so you choose English and then you have the legal thing. you stuff you read and press agree capture the location where your videos and photos are taken I would like to keep it off because just to save uh, my battery but you can always turn it on in the settings again uh, okay so this is a step so you need to download the GoPro app and leave your camera on so I'll leave the camera on I have the app already installed on my phone and uh, We'll, we'll just start the setup from the phone now. As you can see, I have the GoPro app installed on my phone. Uh, we'll click the app, uh, click on connect a GoPro, searching for my camera. We found a GoPro, connect. Setting up, uh, try again, let's try again, okay. Okay, so it's ready to use. As you can see, now the GoPro is all set up. I typically leave it on the settings that you can see here. The only thing that I change uh, for my motor vlogging is I go into the standard, I click there, oops, it's gone again. I click on the standard here, I then you click edit and I let everything be the way it is uh, resolution is to what it is the only thing I change is frames per second so you see the FPS frames per second I click on that and instead of having 60 I will change it to 30 frames per second I try avoid recording in 4k and that's because YouTube really compresses the quality. So it's a very easy setup. Basically, if you have your GoPro, you go to the standard settings and frames per second, click it to 30. I got this, honestly, I tried many other settings and I got these settings from our Moto Vlogger Cruiseman. Uh, I did ask him what settings he uses. And then when I tried them, I really felt that these are the best settings uh, for recording your moto vlog so as you can see I've got this GoPro chesty mount on my chest and I've got this bracket that I purchased from Amazon and connected the GoPro to that the reason is because I don't like mounting my GoPro on my helmet I just don't like those 3m tapes sticking onto my uh, helmet and then you know just spoiling the whole thing so I prefer having this and this setup really really worked for me. It's like you have the mount on and you can take it off anytime. Uh, you have this uh, extension that I got from Amazon uh, for GoPro and that's it. Let me show you how it looks while riding. And uh, to me I really like the view and uh, everything, the video quality as well. But I'll uh, show you how it looks while riding. 
so I'm riding here with the new chesty mount on and you can see from the video that my view is pretty good and very clear it's, it's almost as close to what I would have if the GoPro was mounted on my helmet so the ease and comfort I feel it's great I can take it off anytime and at the same time it gives me the perfect view to watch and for you to see even you'll see while I'm turning here to the left that as I'm turning the view turns and it's a pretty good view anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and I'll see you in the next one take care